What's up guys, welcome back to another unboxing video on Art Statue Collector's channel. Today I will show you guys 1-4 scale Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII by Econ Studio. Okay, this is actually a Christmas gift from a friend of mine who happens to be the owner of Space Toys Collectible. So shout out to him and the shop. If you follow my social media, like on Instagram and Facebook, you will know that I actually took picture of this guy already and did a little review on it. But today we will do a full unboxing for you guys. All right, and uh, let me talk about this shop for a minute. It's where I pre-order most of my custom statues so I don't have to worry about bad transactions or the quality of the company that made them since the shop basically takes care of everything and only deal with well-known commissioners. And if you live in Bangkok, I suggest you check them out. If you are interested in custom statues or even licensed statues, I can vouch for them personally and I will leave the link of their Facebook page down in the description. Cool. So. Let's get to the unboxing. All right, let's get to the unboxing. Check out the box. So you get uh, the graphic of Sephiroth in the front and the box is a little bit beat up, but everything else, there's nothing special. Let's get it out of the way. All right, now let's get to the box itself. Okay, so uh, the first layer, you get the wing and everything. Let me get the base. All right, here is the base. So um, I don't know much about Sephiroth or Final Fantasy game since I don't play them. So I don't know most of these parts or uh, whatever. Maybe uh, the camera guy can help me out. But um, all I know is Sephiroth is basically a super soldier that turned bad. Let me get, let's see, the body. This is the head. Ah, okay, I found the body here. So if I get something wrong, you guys can leave it in the comment and tell me about it. All right, so here we have the body. Let's pick it in. This is the lower part. Oh, shit. Ah, here we go. And this. Okay, this is like the robot looking girl. Not sure if that's supposed to be like his mother or something. That goes right there. Some kind of wing. This should go in the back. Yeah. Here we go. Cool. All right, now to the body. This is outfit, it's kind of huge. So this is the one fourth scale. All right, goes right in. Not too heavy, good. 
and we have the right arm. Okay. Here's another switch out arm. It's almost identical, really. Put this aside. Okay, that's it for the bottom layer. Let's get his wing in. Sephiroth only has one wing. So his name is like one winged angel as well. This can be a little bit of a task putting this in order. Ah, okay, here we go. Make sure you put it in right, otherwise it's gonna fall off. Let's see what else. Okay. We have this little piece here, which I have no idea where it goes. Okay, and the last thing is the sword. It's a huge long sword. One, you can pose it like holding it to the back and one just regular front. Okay, so uh, the way you're gonna put the sword in is actually it came in two pieces. You can actually take it out, but you don't need to. What you need to do is just take out the bottom part and just stick it in, like so. All right, and then put the bottom part on and put it together. Okay, like this. That's one way to hold a sword. And another way, just take the sword back out. And push it in another way, like this. Okay, that's it. So I don't know why they made it separate pieces over here because then you might make a little bit mistake like me thinking you would have to put push this part through the hand and you know risk breaking it but this is the way it's supposed to be the portrait uh, pretty good maybe i should have put this on before the wing right is it? Hold on. Ah, okay, like this. Put this away. All right, cool. Overall, pretty good detail. Um, the base could have been better, I think, like as far as paint job and details. I mean, it doesn't look too much like the real rocks. And I don't know what this thing is or that, but pretty basic, pretty good. Let me turn him around so you guys can see. Okay. The sword is actually made out of, I don't know, it's pretty hard material, but it's kind of lightweight. And the part that broke off, that's plastic. Okay, and the detail on his jacket or whatever, it's pretty good, not too bad. Um, the base in the back here lacking some details, as you can see. The hair is pretty well done overall. Could have improved on some parts. You can see um, over here, like where 
bunch of paint is all stuck in between the strand. The feather wing looks good. Nothing wrong with that. And probably the most important part on this piece. What do you think? What do you guys think, man? Let me know down in the comment. All right. Okay, there's some sloppy paint on the body. Um, the gloves, everything looks good. This, um, the armor here, I feel like maybe it should have been like metallic paint instead. The front of the hair looks really good, I feel. That's probably PVC in the front. And the rest is sculpted. I'm glad that actually they all came in one piece. Let me get the measurement for you guys. All right. The height is the top of the wing is around 69 centimeter. And the width is going to be a lot. It is about 80 centimeter. And depth is around 40, 46 centimeter. All right, so I found out what this piece is for. If you don't want to display him with the wing, you can just put this piece here. But, I mean, you're going to see the seam, obviously. So, um, but you're not really going to see it because it's in the back. So that's just an option if you don't have enough space for the wing. Okay, so overall this piece is not too bad and it's not too good. It's around in the middle and same as the price, it's not too bad as well. Um, all right, so that's the end of the video. Again, thank you Space Toys Collectible for giving me this piece. I will probably display it somewhere in my gallery. Also, my gallery should be finished for real now in about two weeks and stay tuned for next week as well where i do another toy store tour which is one of my friend's store and he has a pretty cool collection as well make sure you stay tuned for that thank you for watching and see you on the next review peace